Hello, Tassel. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I'm glad that you're here. Today, I want to talk about my sense of justice. It's a fairly well-established idea that those of us with autism have a strong sense of justice, and I'm no exception to this. While this has been one of the traits that have caused me a great deal of difficulties throughout my life, it is the trait that I am the most proud of having. So what does it mean to have a strong sense of justice? Well, according to the research, the difference isn't in the ability to tell the difference between right and wrong, but rather a person's degree of willingness to forgo personal gain, to do what they consider to be right. And this means that those of us with autism will do what we believe is right, even when it means that we're going to face negative consequences. Whether or not having a strong sense of justice is a positive or negative trait is still up for debate. And those who consider it a positive trait consider it a personal behavior that puts the greater good before the self. And those who consider it a negative trait consider it a self-sabotaging behavior that often leads to negative personal outcomes. And I've personally come to the conclusion that it's really both. Having a strong sense of justice is a double-edged sword that cuts deeply in both directions. It has allowed me to accomplish a great deal, but it has also cost me a great deal. Why is it the trait that I am most proud of and the thing that I feel is the most defining part of who I am? Well, this strong sense of justice has become a central aspect of my nursing career and it has allowed me to become a powerful patient advocate. Because I've always been driven to do what I believe was right, I never hesitated to stand up for my patients' rights, even when that meant going up against a doctor or my nursing supervisors. It is a trait that has allowed me to provide the high quality care that I have throughout the years and I'm really proud of having done that, but it hasn't come without cost. Challenging the decisions of those that you work with means that you're not a popular coworker and that can make your work environment rather difficult. It means that there are times that you are seen as being difficult or stubborn by those that you work with. And I've definitely been accused of being overly rigid when adhering to rule sets. And all of this makes for a lot of conflict with others that is stressful and difficult to manage. But more than all of that, it means that you're the social outsider. And that's really hard. For a long time, I struggled with the negative consequences of my sense of justice and often felt that the sword was too heavy. Yet, I could never put it down. The sword is a fundamental part of who I am. It's an extension of my arm rather than something separate that I can choose to take up or set aside. This trait required that I mastered strong boundaries to protect myself. Not every cause can become my cause and not every battle can compel me to fight. And with that balance, this is a mighty sword that I'm proud to wield. In the end, this trait means that there will be many people who don't like me. I'm all right with that. The people that will best fit in my life are those that will understand the importance of justice in my life and will support me in my efforts to make this a better place for the majority rather than just myself. Because one thing that I have learned along the way is that there is no mask that you can wear and no action that you can take that will lead to everyone liking you. If I'm only going to be liked by a small group of people, then I want them to be people of my true tribe. A tribe that understands justice. Well, that's about it for my rambling today. Thanks for coming and spending some time with you. If you like my rambling, then click on the like button. It really does help. And until we talk again, you guys, be sure to take care of yourselves. Bye!